Welcome to Gaming with Old Guy News for September 13th, 2020. And in my first over today, Xbox finally revealed a Series X. This is a second console for the next generation. This is the no disc digital only version of their system. That's what it says, a no disc digital only version, but in reality, it's even lower power than the Series X. So if you want the full power of the xbox i'm guessing you're going to want to shut out that cash for that series x but a good thing about this you still get the 120 frames at 1440p resolution only which ain't a bad resolution hell i play a lot of my games in 1440p and um you can upscale to 4k but you know if you want that true 4k you must get that x series now the good thing about this system though it's only priced at 299 299 dollars not a lot of parents gonna pass that up this holiday season um also the uh xbox also swinging with a lot of um things they they trying to knock sony out the house because they also announced that the game pass ultimate will now offer the ea play service that ea play has and basically it's like their version of xbox game pass and you get access to a lot of the ea game library no extra charge with the game pass ultimate which is game pass ultimate is already a sweet deal yes at the ea play to is just a better deal and in my second story for today sony announced a ps5 showcase for september 16th at 1 p.m pacific time and i think they needed to do this because xbox came out swinging with their prices and the new console and even the release date and pre-order date so they needed to do this i think they're doing this they ain't mentioned what they're going to show but i'm pretty sure they're going to give us the same details like price pre-order dates and release dates which i think they need to do at this point because xbox already came out swinging and then my last story for the day gamestop again losing 94 million dollars in its last quarter i don't know how much more this company could take but if I was y'all uh, steer clear and not pre-order nothing from them, really, I mean, you want to do it and be loyal, you know, customers, that's fine. But me, I don't trust my money with GameStop because it's not that nah, I don't like the store, but come on, something going to give. A lot of these stores going to be closing. they rumored to close another 400 stores sometime this year. So be careful with your money out there in GameStop. Good luck and hope you come back. And those were my stories for September 13th, 2020. Be safe, stay healthy, and game on.